I was kind of nervous. Now this is pod racing. Force choking everyone. Yes! Wait, this f is that f Okay, so I, I, I've never done a reaction video to anything, but I felt like I kind of had to react to this. So 17 years ago, I had just become old enough to go and see Star Wars in the cinema. So Revenge of the Sith was the first one that I actually got to see in the cinema. And I loved it so much that I went, I think, five or six times. And still to this day, it's the only film that I've went to see multiple times. And because it was a 12A, you had to be accompanied by an adult. I think my entire family had to end up taking me. The thing that's crazy is that at that time, I was probably with the same age as the younglings, and now I'm actually older than what Hayden was when he played Vader the first time, which doesn't bear thinking about. But it just kind of shows the power of the dark side, not the power of like good writing, really good story and a fantastic cast. So when I heard, I didn't know that this was coming out so soon and I've had to wait a couple of days because I've been working on other projects and just avoiding spoilers, but I couldn't believe how quick it was coming out. I also couldn't believe the cast for this. Very quickly, I know that there's so many like specific reaction things, but I am putting, you know, film composer reacts in this because I am a film composer. And Revenge of the Sith was the first time I actually felt the music, like the music hit me and stuck with me ever since that film. And it was the first time I ever found myself trying to recreate because I was playing piano. I was trying to like, I was trying to play like Battle of the Heroes and trying to play all these different tunes from the film. So now for me to be doing the things that I'm getting to do now, and um, writing music for a living and very much in the same sort of orchestral vein as the path that John Williams laid out for us, it's it's class. It, it, it really it really is brilliant. This is this is happening. I'm almost kind of nervous. Like I'm thinking about it, I am, like I am nervous because it's like The Last of Us 2 coming out. That was seven years, you know? It's a grand total of 17 years since I've seen these characters in this time period in a live action show. So just a massive shout out to Disney Plus for continuing to bring forward these just insane pieces of content. Because I know for ages everyone was thinking, oh, we want these to get a film because they've had like Rogue One, a Star Wars story. They've had Solo, a Star Wars story. So they're obviously going to do one with Obi-Wan, but instead they've given us like a six episode miniseries, pretty much six hours of content just for characters that we've been hanging on to since we were children, basically, you know? Anyway, right, let's go. Oh my god, it's starting with a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. You believe it's this boy? Apprentice, See if our Liam doesn't make a doesn't make a cameo in this. We ride. Even the nature. It's another potential cameo right there. Uh, Ian McDermott and someone that I would never get tired of. Just a phenomenal powerhouse of an actor. That was another thing. I think it was in the comics that Vader was like visiting her grave. So I, I really hope that we get to see something like that where we can see. Anakin sort of struggling and maybe by the end of this period coming to the conclusion that he needs to be the one to stop Sirius in, in some way or another and put an end to it. How to commune with him, I will teach you. Okay, they just included Yoda saying that uh, about Qui-Gon. Oh, please, please. Yeah, I'm not even joking, like, Jedi Survivor talk, like, teased yesterday, and, and now I'm, I'm getting to watch this. Are you kidding? We're actually starting, we're actually starting with Order 66. Excuse me, excuse me, I was not prepared. Master Skywalker. I have a feeling I know who that's gonna be. Oh god, it's on the town eye. Creepy, 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 creepy. Jabba. 
because we're low key, like, let's follow it in case it crashes. Let's go, we're already going hard. Okay, edge walking. The Asian 47s look a bit better. <laughs> Shade from the suns, but the stories they begin. And I'm feeling this guy's dead. His compassion has been his undoing. Okay, Reva doesn't play. You are reckless. We should be hunting bigger prey. He is not yours to find. We are past this third sister. I will not warn you again. You will forget this fix. Also, Engram's voice is like butter. Like butter. So. Yes. It's also another disconnect between like how evil the character is, but she's got such a common voice. <laughs> I can see why Vader chose her. If she's this like on a knife edge. Uh, pardon the pun. <gasps> Sand. far too long waiting far too long the, the music is, is stunning and I, I fully expected it to be um, but sort of like the perfect composer choice for this storyline you know I have a feeling that it's going to be very sort of establishing for this episode and beautiful shots but I have a feeling that if we're going to see Vader it will probably only be for a couple of minutes and maybe it could even be the assembly shot could just be at the very end of the episode and that be it uh, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that I'm wrong beautiful Lobo solo clarinet response the writing is Oh. I'll give you 50. Tika, if you're going to steal my parts and then sell them back to me, could you at least clean them first, as a courtesy? He's going, he's going more towards Alec Guinness, but he kind of sounds like Ronnie Corbett at the minute. <laughs> he, he does. He does sound a little bit like Ronnie Corbett. I've always tried to move with the tides. Completely fine with that, by the way. Love Ronnie Corbett. Rest in peace. I literally had the, the video Obi Wan has PTSD recommended to me yesterday and it's like eight years old but I mean yeah Master Qui-Gon Master Liam Was he not managed it yet because of his mind Music. Her score would actually remind you a bit like Debbie Wiseman's work on Wild. You know, very just beautiful classical writing. Oh. Remove the lens cap. <laughs> Now this is pod racing. Tuscans. If it is, I know we're gonna get jump scared with that noise they make. I thought I saw you in town, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think you'd survived. Oh. You're making some kind of mistake. I'm sorry, my name is Nari. Please. You have no idea what I've been through. <laughs> you must leave. You'll draw too much attention. But I have nowhere to go. They're hunting me. You have to help me. You're in a desert, mate. 
Pick a direction. You want my help? Take this. Walk into the middle of the desert and bury it in the ground. What happened to you? I knew you was going to say something like that. You were once a great Jedi. You've changed, bro. <laughs> I'm guessing this must be Leia's new theme. Uh, I saw it like she posted on Instagram and she got to write a new theme. How is she doing? Oh my god, she has a companion. She has a companion. <laughs> Music's great. I'm gonna be saying this a lot. <laughs> but it is. No? Traitor, maybe? Leia Organa. You had to do this today? Please tell me Senator Organa is going to be in this. Please. Can't remember the actor's name, but I love anything. Anything he does. He's phenomenal in Dexter as well, so please. Lovely. I would imagine this is just lulling us into like a false sense of security because he's living this easy life. But then everything goes to hell in a handbasket. I want oh. you to stay away from him. We talked about this. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father? Anakin is dead. And I won't let you make the same mistake twice. So leave him on the farm with his family where he belongs. Hold on. Did he stick with Anakin's dad? Rather than Anakin as Darth Vader. Well, that could be problematic. Well, yeah, he did because he told Luke, Darth Vader killed your father. This is the outer rim. You have no rights here. We're not under the Empire's. <laughs> All we want is information. If anyone. <laughs> okay. Knows anything, there is no point in protecting them. They would not do the same for you. You killed all of them. Stand down, third sister. No! Next time. I really hope we get some reference to like Trilla or Cal in this. Because I have a feeling that those timelines are around about the same. And. Um, Reva's the third sister. You. Trilla was the second. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. His voice. You think you were gain by capturing. There's like a vocoder under Be his voice. Third sister. A harmonic Maybe rich go sub. Sounds really good. <gasps> yes! Anything good today? A trade. Don't encourage her. All right. Yes. Get this over with. Cello is beautiful. I recognize whoever it is playing Leia. Wait. Is the kid playing Le Leia the same one that played Nelly in Hill House? Like the child's version of Nelly? Thank you. Your Highness. Oh, thanks, Lyo. My pleasure. You think your droids? It's good manners. You don't need me. Yeah, that is her. You're talking to a lower life form. Then I don't need manners when I'm talking to you. Hmm. You're not even a real Organa. You're the one who's scared. Never made one decision for yourself in your entire life, and you never will. I may not have seen much, cousin, but I can see that. Very good. He was being horrible to everyone. He's your cousin. He's, He's a dick. Just <laughs> starts force choking everyone. Those are actually regular sized succulents in the room. She's just that tiny. I wanted to live out. Not even a real organ. 
Don't ever say that. You are a child. You are an Organa in every way. One day this planet will look to you, Leia. There are many ways to lead. You just have to find yours. I'll wait for you downstairs. That was a nice moment. I didn't know he was back in it. I'm so happy. I did not know that it was Nelly's Nelly's actor playing Leia. That was nice. Why are you here? Just waiting. For what? For you. The actor was familiar. Is that Flea? Was that Flea? Is that why? She needs you, Obi-Wan. Oh. Find someone else. <laughs> Shut her up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> This cheer is beautiful. She's headed for Dayu. He should not have come. There's gonna be a lot of self doubt as well. He won't trust himself. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Give it time. Give it a wig. My father will rescue me. He'll send a whole army. No one's coming for you. Wait. She says, my father will rescue me. Is that going to be the twist? Does Vader show up? Himself. Does she not realize who Vader is? Because it sounds like her vendetta is like a personal thing in finding Obi Wan. And the trailer would have made you think that they were saying you're still after Obi Wan to Vader rather than to Reva. Well, you coming or not? Dun, 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 dun. Right. It's a really cool poly rhythm on there. Oh, you was an executive producer. Who's anyone else we recognize in here? It was Flea. <laughs> Obi-Wan theme by John Williams. Score composed by Natalie Holt. Obi-Wan theme adapted by William Ross. Okay, so obviously quite a slow start, but you're really just sort of establishing where everyone is. They didn't even show Vader during this, but I have a feeling like the story will revolve a lot more around Obi-Wan and Reva. There's some sort of vendetta that Reva has towards Obi-Wan and 
I'm wondering if, if it's because she blames him, maybe, for Order 66 going ahead because he had trained Anakin, or maybe there's a, a relationship there that we, we, we don't know about. Or it could quite simply have been something that was instilled during the Inquisitor conversion thing that they do, where they basically just torture them. There's a lot of questions. Now, as for how, how I think overall it was, like, first of all, like, the music is just so brilliant. It's so beautiful. And I wasn't sure what direction it was going to go, whether it was going to be more of a sort of contemporary drama sound with more synths and pulses and stuff like that. But no, it's actually primarily orchestral. In fact, I didn't really discern any sort of hybrid elements in there. It was just really, really gorgeous, luscious, like romantic era classical composition. Like it was just stunning. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be another soundtrack that I have to buy. But in particular, there were a few themes when they revealed the Jedi hanging. The cue there was just stunning. It was just heart-wrenching. I'm excited to hear how emotive the score could get before the end, because when you click on to the Obi-Wan title on Disney+, Plus, the first thing you see is this thumbnail of Obi-Wan with quite clearly Vader's lightsaber hilt and the lightsaber is ignited. So we're obviously building as expected towards like another battle. Will there be like another confrontation? Will there be another, you were the chosen one? Yeah, will you cut my legs off? Uh, where are we gonna go with these two characters? I have a feeling though that we're not gonna have a lot of Hayden purely because there was no mention nor sight of him during this first episode, other than the flashbacks. We'll see. I, either way, um, I think one thing that I'm really wanting to see is more like unseen flashbacks. Like, could we have some flashbacks of Anakin and Obi-Wan? Just some good old wholesome throwback unseen stuff. That would be really good. Or are we going to get some reference to Ahsoka or some maybe sort of cameo of Ahsoka? It'd be interesting to see because they were all there together for the photo shoot with Vanity Fair. Rosario was there as well, so you know one can only hope. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still, still going to process this. Let me know what you think of the music because it's obviously very different to the Mandalorian. I'm really excited to hear more of it because that's you know it's my, it's my, my bread and butter. I'm really excited to see where these characters go, especially because I wasn't sure as to how Reva was going to be, and she's just very, very much the drop of a hat. She will kill somebody. So I'm excited to see more of the character, and especially with like Moses Ingram playing a villain. Like I'm, I'm really excited to see that. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this episode. And even better than that, if you could subscribe, then you get the second episode. I should also add that this isn't my niche. This isn't what I do generally, but I do love reactors. I love reaction videos. And this is just something that's very important to me. And that's why I'm doing a reaction to it. Let me know if it is something that I could be doing more of, reacting to things and talking about them from the sort of composer side of things. I'd be interested if I thought that it was something people would like to see. Yeah, so I will see you in the next one. And thanks for watching this one.